Remember when remote controls were that big new thing? Yeah, now you can actually lock your front door, turn on the washer and dryer, and pull the shades remotely with an exploding market of apps. And there's a big price difference out there as well. So which home apps have value? Susan Elizabeth Littlefield finds out which ones are worth the price, and then some. The average 25 to 54 year old American spends 8.7 hours a day at work and 7.7 .7 hours sleeping, leaving not much time to tend to the home front. The house is never quiet. Like most working parents, for this Maple Grove dad, life moves fast. I wake up in the morning, I just grab my phone, turn the music on in the bathroom while I'm getting ready. Turns out his phone and his iPad control a lot more than overhead speakers. And his interest in gadgets isn't just personal, it's professional. If I have problems with it, there might be problems that clients have. I want to be able to make sure that I can solve them at home. He helps outfit homes around the cities with practical app-controlled gadgets. This, he says, is one of the best sellers, Sonos. I don't have any access to, to everything you want to do, whether it's turn on the TV, listen to music, change your lighting, uh, turn the fan on. Most of which he can operate by a corresponding app on his phone. So you could really freak somebody out and turn all the stuff on. And I do, <laughs> I do, actually. This Sonos system runs $199. Speakers can be built into the rooms for music for 1000 extra per room, a cost that could pay for itself down the road. I always say when you're selling your house, if you can create an environment of where you're having a dinner party, where you have the music on, the lights are on, and it's very inviting. Local broker Andy Prasky says when selling a house, technology is key. The apps add that advantage of having the conveniences of new construction. So now when they're comparing new compared to existing, there's not as big of a, a differentiator there. Now you have some of the cool new widgets that the new houses have, and it makes you stick out in the crowd. So now that you know the value of apps, here are some you may not know exist. So you're walking into work. Good morning, Susan Elizabeth. Morning! And just as you're getting settled at work, you have that moment. Forgot something. The garage door. Did I close it? But thanks to one app, that's not a problem. The Chamberlain MyQ garage control is $129 total, and it works with most existing systems. If you prefer to enter through the front door, check out this Kibo app. You can use your phone to unlock the door so that with just a touch, it opens. You can give kids or house sitters a fob so they can open the door by touch too. Whole system, $219. The Nest allows you to change room temperatures while you're away. It's a good money saver. It's $249 total. And one of the cheapest buys we found, a baby monitoring app that can turn an old camera into a home surveillance system for just $6.99 for the app. Just some of the thousands of ways to get some extra help around the house. It sounds like we're getting kind of lazy, but that's kind of where things are gravitating towards. Susan knew that you thought some of this might sound a little complicated. She said she spoke to the tech expert, and he says that he has clients in their 90s who can easily navigate all those systems. She compiled a list of those home apps that you saw and others as well, and they're all on WCCO.com links.